In my own words, with uh, Stephen M. Smith, Touchdown Alabama. It's every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6.30 Central. And again, Touchdown Alabama is the destination as well. Uh, the coaches poll came out on Monday. Alabama sitting at number five. It's just another reminder of the ridiculous standard that Nick Saban built because that's the lowest preseason ranking since that first national championship season of 2009. Georgia, a near consensus number one over Ohio State. And again, Stephen Bama at five. Your thoughts? I mean, th this is exactly where I kind of pictured Alabama would be at, at number five, right? Because Coach Saban announced the retirement. A lot of people have the question, well, Saban's gone. You know, uh, can the next coach, which is right now Coach DeBoer, keep this team uh, on the level of uh, greatness, on the level of dominance, and get this team to not only a conference championship, but into, the, but into that 12-team playoff and contend for a national title. The one thing Nick Saban did do, he left Kaylin DeBoer with a lot to work with. When you look at the nucleus of the team being bad, when you look at the 2024 freshmen that are in here now offensively and defensively, and then for Coach DeBoer to retain – so many of the coaches from the Saban era, you you hang on to Freddie Roche, you hang on to Robert Gillespie, you hang on to Coach uh, Dave Ballou and the strength and conditioning department, you hang on to guys that mean a lot here to this program, as well as bring in your own flavor of guys in Nick Sheridan, in Jamarcus Shepard, in uh, Maurice Linguist, in Colin Hitzler, in Kane Womack, to be the defensive coordinator. So Alabama at five, a spot that I thought they would be at, but this is a hungry group that wants to show the world that, yes, Coach Saban retired, but Alabama is still rolling here. Stephen, I got to think that uh, some folks around Alabama circles are taking notice of what's going on with Auburn's 2025 recruiting class. It seems like every day is bringing another top 50, top 100 player. Um. So I'll ask you about that, but also uh, Alabama's pursuits in recruiting as it stands here going into September. Well, first things first, when you look at Auburn, uh, Auburn knew when it brought in Hugh Freeze, he was going to recruit the state. He was going to recruit the state of Alabama. The Iron Bowl recruiting is an emphasis for Hugh Freeze, especially when you look at recently Auburn flipping some guys from Alabama, flipping uh, Derek Smith, the four-star you know, wide receiver from Southside High School in Selma, Alabama, flipping Antonio Carter, the elite defensive lineman from Sarah Land High School here in the state of Alabama. So Hugh Freeze has put a lot of emphasis on we got to recruit this state. We got to flip some guys from Alabama in the state. There's a lot of talent in the state of Alabama that we've got to get. And where Alabama is concerned, Bama's got to recruit the state hard. We have seen Coach DeBoer go out there and get guys from California, which is big. Go out there, you get guys from Texas, you get guys from other states, which is marquee, but you got to also get the homegrown talent as well. Right now, the main guy that Alabama's got uh, in state is Anthony Rogers uh, for the 2025 class, and you got to hang on to him. But Bama's also got to continue to get other guys within the state because it's marquee talent within the state of Alabama. The Tide right now trying to beat out Ohio State for the number one class, but Bama's got to hold, Bama's got to hold guys within the state as Hugh Freeze and Auburn have made in-state recruiting a priority right now. Folks, we deliver here at the Voice of College Football. Now we need you to do your part, which is, of course, like the video and subscribe here at the Voice of College Football. And again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6.30 Central with Stephen on In My Own Words. Stephen, always good to see you. Thanks for stopping by, getting us updated on the Tide. Appreciate you, Mark. Take care. This is fun.